What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video at For God and Country Outdoors YouTube channel. Luke here and today is a very exciting video. I'm going to be showing y'all how to install the brand new Yakazuna suppressor moderator for um, from Donnie FL for my Impact uh, M3 22 caliber slug gun. So straight off, just look at the box and how they've designed it. You know, when silence is a priority, definitely go to Donnie FL. This is one of the best suppressors. But if you're seeing this video today, we're posting it on the launch date of this um, suppressor. So straight out, you open it up and there's a little thank you note from Donnie himself right there on the top, which is really cool. So you have your set screw. I'll show you where that goes in just a little bit and an Allen wrench that actually fits the set screw. That is really good because the hardest thing for me is whenever I get a new part for something and I cannot find the right size Allen wrench to fit the part because they didn't send it. Then we're going to pull out the Yakazuna suppressor. So this is your um, quick disconnect suppressor mount that goes on the threads of your gun. So I'm going to set this box aside because we do no longer need it. And just look at this suppressor. Guys, this is absolutely insane, the technology that is inside this suppressor right here. It's got four different um, baffle lengths. So we have one bigger one and then three smaller ones that you can unscrew and literally make it the size that you want it. If you only want this, if it shoots the best out of your gun with just one baffle, this right here, straight off the thing, then you can make it that size or you can stick all of these on together and make it a long suppressor that is the quietest suppressor you will ever stick on your air gun. So, we're gonna bring out the air gun here. Also, Sabre Tactical gold weights for the front to help make it balance. Little plug there, anyway. Um, the quick disconnect screws directly onto your threads. So once you get that tight, there is a um, little hole right here. I don't know if y'all guys can see that. There's a little hole right there that your set screw is going to screw into and it has a little um, rubber like piece on the end of it to where it doesn't mess up your threads um, on the gun which is really good so just a little set screw and then allen wrench that fits it just put them together and then into this it goes Screw it in there and then just snug it up really good and you should feel it lock in good. Then you're going to take your suppressor and there is a little notch right here in um, the piece that actually connects to the gun. There's a little notch right there, it's not in any of the other sides. If you line that notch up with the hole of the, that the set screw is in, then it's going to slide in and it's under tension. You're going to push in and twist it over. And that suppressor is installed on your gun just like that. That simple. You want it to come off. Always hold your barrel. That way you don't be twisting stuff. But push in and twist it and it's off right there. You can stick it in a separate compartment. If you stick it in a case to travel and the suppressor makes it too long, just off. You can travel and then you can stick it right back on. So you line up the two holes, pop it in, boom, your suppressor's on just like that. So something else that's really cool about this suppressor is you can change the um, where you want the baffles with different sizes on the length of the suppressor. So you could take a small baffle on the front and stick it in the back with the middle one or with the bigger baffle in the middle of the suppressor and it, the more that you change it, it it really allows versatility for tuning your air gun because you can change all of this up and literally watch your group sizes change for whatever gun slug pellet speed 
whatever you're shooting, you will be able to move this any way you want to set it up how you want to shoot the perfect group. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I know it's quick and simple, but I just wanted to bring you a video on how to do this and make sure you go to Donnie FL and Saber Tactical. Check out this new suppressor. Got weights, all the accessories on this gun is Saber Tactical or Donnie FL. And just give them guys support for supporting us. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a good day.